Good morning. Today I will present this paper recently published in Nature Material. Title is Cell Volume Ex Expansion and Local Contractility Drive Collective Invasion of the Basement Membrane in Breast Cancer. This is written by Chadwick Group. Before starting this paper, uh, I will introduce the concept of this paper. So as you know, this is normal breast duct, duct. So you can also imagine saliva or other kind of things. And then this is duct carcinoma in situ. So this is before they are before they are they are heavy, they have cancerous behavior, but they are piling up inside. And then when certain part is ruptured, and then this cancer cell they can migrate to other side. This is called invasive breast cancer. So another point of, view, point of view is like that. So this is, uh, let's say, the upper part is epithelial layer or duct layer. And then this is fibroblast rich layer, like dermis layer. And then in the between, you can see this basement membrane. So for, for cancer cell, when they want to migrate to other side, they have to penetrate this basement membrane. So this is a basic concept of carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, squamous cell, epithelial cell, they behave normally like that. But when they start to perform hyperplasia, they are proliferating a lot, and then at a certain moment, this proliferant cell, they start to migrate to fibroblast rich dermis layer after penetrating this basement membrane. So this is this is starting point of invasive cancer. So this charger group, they want to investigate how collective cell start to invasive behavior after penetrating this basement membrane. Because previously, people already reported a lot, single cell level, they penetrate this basement membrane by MMP secretion or physical deformation and can penetrate basement membrane. But here, for the first time, they mentioned that in 3D structure and collective cell behavior, a collective cell model, they prove how collective cell can penetrate base membrane to reach this fibroblast rich layer. So let's start first. So this is this is their concept. Oh, sorry. So here, they try to model breast cancer cell. So this is normal, soft, normal breast, which has soft, soft stiffness, around 0.3 kilopascal. And as I mentioned, this is precancerous status, DCIS, duct cell, duct carcinoma in situ. And they assume when this breast normal cell when they start to behave like cancer cell, ECM structure are stiffened. And then finally, when this cancer cell start to migrate to other side, called invasive breast cancer, they feel high stiffness, around three kilopascal. But here, they didn't measure the in vivo tissue. They just mentioned like that. So for confirming how Collective cells behave differently in soft and stiff matrix. 
they are making ashini. Here they use well-known uh, reconstructed basal membrane protein, matrigel. They treat matrigel on the bottom and then seed it to a single cell. And then they are adding the media with certain matrigel 2%. And then after four days, they are making this ashini formation. And then they collect this ashini and then implant this one to two different stiffness <coughs> gel, which is called soft interpenetrating network gel and a stiff one. For making these two different soft and stiff, as you already know that, they are using arginate plus matrigel, reconstructed DM. And then they only change the calcium concentration to, to make two different stiffness. So basically, all the protein composition are same, but only calcium concentration is different between the groups. And then, they, before they implant this arsene to this soft and stiff gel, they stain with lamin with certain dye, and then they, they can do lab imaging. And then over time, they find out certain base bond membrane are irregularly behaved, and then they are making pore, and then this collective cell can, try, can migrate to the matrix. Here, this blue one is the blue one. Uh, how, how is formed? <coughs> this is their original behavior. When they make this ashini formation, they are having this basal membrane structure already. Yes. So here you can see this is exact. This is the original secret from the this cell cell line. Secret. Yeah, secreted. They already come. Yeah, not added. This is not externally added one. This lamin. So actually, for checking the basal membrane structure, they are using lamin. So here, this is one arsini in vitro. So nucleus, and as you know, collagen structure here, and then along with this lamin, basal membrane structure here. So basal membrane is little inside compared to collagen. Okay, little inside. Ah, single cell is MCF10A. Uh, yeah, line. cell line. They are using actually they screen out three cell line. One is non-tumorous cell MC, MCF10A, and that they are using transform cell another two cell line. But they find out only non-tumorous cell can make this perfect basal membrane structure using when they confirm by lamin, laminin. So they this is why they are using non-tumorous cell MCF10A for all other studies. So after confirming the basal membrane structure and then screen out the which kind of cell line is proper for this assay, and then they try to try to reconfirm this basal membrane forming phenomenon in vitro and in vivo. So in vivo, normal duct also have this lamin basal membrane structure, and then interestingly the DCIS, like precancerous region, they are have. They, they already have this basal membrane, but certain part is very weak, weakly expressed. So compared to this intact laminin structure, DCIS here and here have less expressed. So that's why they confirm the laminin thickness. So normal, more thickened, but DCIS cancerous region have less thickened. So in vitro, this one is like this. So they found out, oh, <coughs> lamin in basal membrane thickness is different between this normal and precancerous region. And then they confirm again this phenomenon by HN staining. So here, 
is normal in vivo and then invasive breast cancer. Here, PCIS is precancerous region, but they, already, they also come from normal and the invasive breast cancer. Here, they found out laminin, normal structure duct, they are making perfect basement membrane. But invasive breast cancer in in vivo, and then their model, they found out here, this is like basement membrane, but some part, after making this collective duct have irregular shape, they are try to penetrate to other matrix, and then this base membrane look <coughs> ruptured here. And then from their model gel, they come from perfect base membrane laminin structure, but here certain part is ruptured, and then this collective cell try to invade, try to migrate to other side. So as you can imagine. They only change calcium concentration soft to make soft and stiff. Soft, in the soft, this arsini, maybe around 10, 100 cell, they are making circular formation. But in the stiff, this is, this is mimicking the cancerous matrix. This collective cell behave more elongated, irregular shape compared to soft. So they count invasive arsini, 50% in stiff, and then when they inhibit PI3K, which is very well known for proliferating or cell function, this arsini number decrease. And then also they quantify the arsini circularity, circularity decrease in stiff, arsini area enhanced. Basal membrane area, basal mem and basal membrane area is <coughs> de decrease, decrease. So you can see many times this parameter, arsenic circularity, arsenic area, basal membrane per average arsenic area. And then they look at in detail about what happened to cell to cell, cell interaction. So previously, this which is very well known, cell to cell interaction is very important for making this invasive behavior. The in vivo, normal, and precancerous region. Here, actually they mentioned, actually I can see this is more high cell to cell interaction, this is less, but here they didn't mention in detail, they just said that, okay, cell to cell interaction look similar. Here they, men they mention like that. Even this invasive carcinoma, also sexual cell, cell interaction is there. They are not loosening that much. And then this, also they check in in, 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 in vitro using their Ashini cell line, soft, stiff, cell to cell interaction protein ecadrin, they are relatively formed equally. They mention like that. <coughs> so they rule out the cell to cell loosening behavior from the collective cell arsenic information. Collective behavior is mainly from the stiffness. That yes. Here they when collective cell feel stiffness, they start to migrate somewhere. Mm. But in the meantime, cell to cell interaction relatively they can keep it. And then next, they want to know what is the underlying mechanism. So already previously previously mentioned a lot about the role of MMP or protease to degrade the ECM for invasion. So this GM and MARI, those are MMP inhibitor. When they treat MMP inhibitor, this acid information number going down. But protease inhibitor, less effect. So this is their optical images. Mm, this is control in stiff gel. They are making this 
form. But they mentioned this is less form compared to control. Okay, here, especially this GM, compared to control, a less. From Mari Mastep, <coughs> I feel like they look similar, but they mentioned like that. Maybe this percentage is different. A protein inhibitor, they are working certain point, but not under point, point zero 0.05. Then, okay, previously well-known phenomenon, MMP is also important for this collective duct cell invasion. <coughs> and then they want to know in detail. Okay, and then over time, after making the arsenic, then they transfer this arsenic to the, our developed soft and stiff gel. Especially stiff gel, what kind of thing happen over time? Zero for 16 hours. This basal membrane is live, sta live stained before transferring this arsenic in this gel, arsenate matrix gel complex. This is basal membrane, as you can see, this side, some part are basal membrane accumulated and then they are making this not circular, but change their, their the basal membrane is a little bit ruptured. While their arsenic form, Ashini and actin form are maintained, but this basal membrane, some part is ruptured here. And then this collective cell start to invade, invasion to other side. Once again, when they look in detail, they found out hole. So basal membrane previously they very, very perfect, but when they feel the high stiffness matrix, they are making hole. Actually, as you can man as you can imagine, basal membrane itself they cannot make the hole. Definitely, cell are doing something certain things. So they found out zero and fifteen hour while they feel while they feel stiffness, high stiffness. Basal membrane wasn't like that, but certain part they are accumulated a lot. Okay. So here they find out a basal membrane accumulates in a certain point, and then they are making hole. So basal membrane is changed. And the next question is, okay, and then what is the role of this basal membrane is <coughs> maintaining, this is actin dependent or cell dependent or basal membrane is independent structure from the actin or from the cell. They treated LAT A. This is actin polymerase inhibitor. As you can see, basal membrane structure still they are maintained while they are treating LAT A. The cell, their actin is a little bit dimmed over <laughs> over time, but this densified basal membrane puncta here, certain part. This is highlighted here. Certain basal membrane is accumulated, okay? But this accumulation is maintained. And then this hole is also maintained. So this basal membrane already have their original structure, not dependent by the actin. Actually, before treating this LADA, maybe actin ectomycin function, they already making this basal membrane mismatch and accumulation. After making this mismatch and accumulation, actin, they cannot, they didn't support this basal membrane. So basal membrane and actin structure of the cell, they are independently behave. Yeah. Mm? So even though they treat LAT-A, mm. the cell from the actin structure, they mm. are mm. Uh, actually, they they didn't mention they are they can have probability to migrate out. They just maintain their structure. So actually, here they didn't check their migration speed or migration function. Actually, um, another figure they mentioned about the, <coughs> the role of the ectomyosin contractility and actin. But here they want to they want to say that this actin in after forming this. How can I say mismatch or accumulation of basal membrane? Actin didn't support 
this beta membrane. Yeah, but mm. I, was, I was thinking that you say this is what actually mm. polymerization, but right. you not age. Yeah, right. Yeah, if they are decreasing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, actually, uh, as you mentioned, they are decreasing before they are making this hole. But once they are, this hole is already formed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So they, they treat it after. Yeah, right, right. Yes, right, right. Uh, here they already uh, tr- already making this migration phenomenon three days post infiltration, and then already this whole <coughs> defect is formed. Yes. Yeah, I. I forgot to mention here this one. And then this PFK and actin densification. So already you mentioned, you can imagine how this wedge membrane can be deformed. Yeah, definitely from the cell. So why is the major component? Actin. Actin, this actin density is quite highly accumulated in certain part. Okay, here. While they are accumulated, this wedge membrane is also ruptured, and then their circularity is loosening. Hmm. So here, uh, they didn't mention detail which one is um, this actin. Uh, any actin is involved to making this beta membrane accumulation and rupture, and then also this PFK invasion and their BM invasion site and collective invasion into IPN site. PFLK is highly accumulated in certain part. Mm, this is lamin, laminin here, PFLK here. Especially when you see the hole, <coughs> when you see the hole, the or- surrounding whole area, PFLK is highly accumulated. So which means that cell, collective cell, they are they are built after they feeling the high stiffness. This PFK is accumulated along with actin, and then they are making the hole. So when they block FAK, this percentage of arsenic invasive and arsenic area decrease, circularity retreat to the to the more circular, and then basal membrane area is also retreat to normal stages. Here they mention. PFK and actin accumulation is important for making beta membrane accumulation. Okay. So beta membrane accumulation and what, what does it mean? Yeah, actually this study this study oh, oh, this study they continuously try to say what is the meaning of the beta membrane accumulation. So actually the beta membrane accumulation is when they are accumulated cell can make the whole defect. But the membrane originally they are very perfect, perfectly surrounded by the one arsine. But when, once certain major membrane is occupied certain site, they can make the whole. So today, uh, mm. hetero, heterogeneous Distribution. Yes. Mm. From the homogeneous okay. to inhomogeneous. Yeah, right. Mm. Any mm. 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 혼자 유지할 수 있느냐. 그래서 액틴을 다 만, 이렇게 인베이시브하게 만든 다음에 액틴을 끊어도 베젤 멤브레인의 어떤 홀은 유지한다. 음. 네. 그거 그러니까 이게 뭔가 좀 매끄럽지 않았어요. 말할 때. 그래서 아마 이비오가 뭔가 지금 했던 것 같아요. 음. 어, 호텔은 똑같다. 어. 그러니까 베젤 멤브레인은 다 자기 홀을 만, 계속 만든 채로 홀이 있는 채로 유지가 된다. 음. 음. 네. 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 또 뒤에 보시면 또 액티 날리면 또다안 돼요. 네. 또 오래 생각하는 건다 맞긴 해요. 음. 음. 
사실 싱글셀 레벨에서는 이미 밝혀진 내용인데 사실 이게 당연히 예상이 되는 건데 이게 그렇게 중요했나 라는 저 개인적인 질문이 있는데 어 하여튼 좋은 데 나, 나온 것 같아요 음. 아, 이거는 위에가 인디보 티슈에서 한것 같고 밑에가 이제 자기가 만든 모델에서 한것 같아요. 그러니까 이게 이제 자기가 IPN이라는 젤을 만들어서 했는데 그러니까 젤에서도 보이고 실제로 리얼 인디보 티슈에서도 보인다. 어. 음. 네, 인비트로, 인비보 인비트로. 어. 사실 이게 멘션이 정확히 안 되긴 하거든요. 근데 뭐 이걸 다르게 멘션한 거 보니 그런 느낌 아닐까라는 그냥 생각이 좀 들었습니다. 근데 막 디테일하게 잘 이렇게 본문이나 찍어야 잘안 나와 있더라고. 이게 뭐지 이랬었는데. 네. 네. 계속 라미닌 염색을 하고. 네, 라미닌. 어. They always using laminin. This is more FITC conjugated laminin antibody. They treat before, yeah, before encapsulating into certain gel, but Before and, and after making arsenic formation, they press stain this Lamini antibody with FITC and then implant this arsenic to matrigel arginate complex. Lamini antibody. So here, from now on, very simple. So they once again confirm okay, this cell are migrating and then. As you can see, this uh, blue color basal membrane, rupture part, there, this cell can invade, invade other matrix. Now, even though they are treating single cell level, single <coughs> M-shaped10A, same cell line, and another cell line, and they treat this activator, in 3D structure, this single cell, yeah, making invader podia here, Also, they are making i n v e s i o podia and they try to yeah, migrate a certain way. And then they are checking with this of invasive front. Absolutely, single cell have uh, narrow w i d t h s compared to collective cell. But they are making their uh, invasive front. Now, this invasive front can be confirmed once again by soft and stiff. Here, soft. Stiff. This c o l t a c t i n and actin, as you know, c o l t a c t i n is important for marker of cell contractility. The c o l t a c t i n is accumulated in edge, in stiff condition. So because they want to say that because of this uh, c o l t a c t i n accumulation in edge, this arsenic can have this elongated form. And then. When they lock, when they uh, make low express this contractility using CRISPR-Cas9 system, and that they confirm this TSK5 expression, that they found out invasive arsenic and percentage decrease, area decrease, a c c u l a t e d retrieve, and basal membrane thickness also retrieve. So cell, this invader podia-like pro, pro, invader podia-like protrusion. Drive by c o l t a c t i n is also important in collective cell invasion. So this figure three is about from single cell level and collective cell level, invader podia, both of them are important. But the different thing is with single cell, small risk, or collective cell, 
they, have, they can make more frequent invasive plants. And then they deeply analyze cell volume expansion. So this is major membrane area yeah, stained by lamini in the arsenic area. So major membrane area and arsenic area maybe they they are stained by actin. So here pre invasion they're similar, but BM breach means when they are accumulate BM and then they are making hole. This is called here they mentioned BM breach, making the hole. When they're making the hole, this BM area starts to decrease, <coughs> while arsenic area a little bit enhanced because they start to invade. So this is non-invasive arsenic in the soft. Stiff, invasion, stiff, but when they <coughs> treat this inhibitor, GSK205, cell volume depressor, they're making their hole, uh, making their shape. So here they want to say that cell volume is also very important to regulate this invasion phenomenon. And then all other parameter, as you mentioned, as you imagine, decrease, 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 uh, decrease up to here. Invasive acini, cell volume, decrease. And then here, using osmolarity change, they compress this cell, collective cell. When you add 50 or 100 milliosmol more, even though they are culturing on steep IPN, the cell cannot make cell volume increase. So that is why invasive arsenic percentage decrease and area decrease, circularity retreat, major membrane thickness also retreat. This is for in vivo comparison. Normal DCIS, precancerous and cancer cell area, single cell level enhanced. And when they confirm, soft and stiff, same tendency. Here, cell cell junction are required for invasion. Ecadrin is knocked down, invasion, arsenic percentage decreased, area enhanced, security enhanced, BM enhanced. Gap junction is important same manner. So this panel, they want to say that cell volume is important, <coughs> and then because from the osmolarity change, they confirm again, and then cell cell junction is also required for invasion. So this is a already well-known phenomenon in single cell level, they confirm again in collective cell. Why is cell Why? Mm. Let's keep this question for the last part. Yeah. <coughs> and then, already we can assume that ectomycer control activity through alpha 3 beta 1 integrin enable BM punch, BM break, BM breaching. So alpha 3 beta 1 is a well known integrin type for recognizing lamini. So we can also imagine when they inhibit the laminin binding site, invasion decreased. Here, like that. And then when they knock down this integrin as well, percentage, action area, or a change. So, cap so from the collective cell, capturing the major membrane is very important to have this invasion phenomenon. When they take myosin 2A, highly expressed. Yeah. And then, yeah, this is a com their quantification. Here, yeah, this is our answer. When we inhibit ectomycin contractility or raw rock pathway and actin, aura change. So actin, ectomycin contractility is very well-known phenomenon, which is important for regulating this invasion phenomenon. And then for visualization, low activation, here, they are, after three days post-encapsulation, they are already making little, this, uh, Beta membrane <coughs> in homogeneity and make the whole, this low way activation is highly <coughs> deposited here. Over time, mm, little change, but they said this BM densification in homogeneity relatively maintained. 
compared to other areas. And here, this roadway activity is also highly omnibulated in BM densification. So cell, uh, they are, so here they try to say that they actually they didn't quantify using Western blood other things, but after making the basal membrane, this cell, cultivar cell, they are changed the basal membrane certain part, and that they are making this hole. And then now they start to migrate to other side. And then using the bead, FRT conjugate bead, they try to analyze how cell change in a single cell level. So this arrow you can see over time they, they are checking how single cell they behave out, outside, inside, or another level. So here you can see many arrow are changed, especially this tangent tangent tangential force, tangential behave they take it a lot compared to this radial force. Radial force is com compared uh, is relatively more I think, conservative behave. They are want they want to make their cell clustering. But this tangential force, this is external force to go out. So they highlight this point. So compared, so ra radial deformation also accumulate differently, but tangential force deformation is over time you can see a lot. This is relatively maintained the expression. But tangential deformation, they are going on. So average deformation magnitude still high. And then when they inhibit MMP, FAK, it can sensor insertion or retreat. And then this radial is relatively <coughs> maintaining the collective cell, but tangential, more driving force to go outside, it's high, it's more high in steep. And then when they treat all inhibitor, <coughs> they all go down. And then these two force, on some part, they have the tendency, but Previously, this tangential force is higher than radial, but sometimes radial is higher than tangential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very similar. Mm -hmm. and here, they confirm again this basal membrane. They over time, here they are making big hole like that. And then last. Yeah, now they are modeling. Okay, so this is the last figure. Theoretical modeling predict local bridge, local rupture in the basal membrane. This is done by Shenoy group. So acting cort cortex, myosin, and then in the center, like that. But in the edge, with blue color, basal membrane, lamini, contractility, making some mismatch or inhomogeneity of basal membrane. So here, normal, but we don't know, here actually they didn't mention why cell volume enhanced. But here, normal, when volume expansion, and then certain part, local cell contractility is enhanced. Cell try to remodel this basal membrane. And then they are making this breaching hole. So they confirm their model using this one. As I mentioned, radial is making sphere, but tangential go outside. No volume expansion, no contractility here. When volume expansion, tangential force higher than this. Local cell contractility in S, more more contractility and more force. When did this volume, consequently, both of them together, high compared to this radio. So cell, collective cell can make the force to remodel the basal membrane because of this tangential stress. So they, they are using hypotonic condition using DW to make to mimic this phenomenon. But this is soft IPN. 
Lamini, but when, when you treat DW, cell expansion happened within 15 minutes. Okay. And then, okay, actually volume enhanced. And then they maintain their, this hypotonic condition for one day in soft IPM. Lamini is disrupted. Okay. Hypotonic condition, invasive arsenic form, but while they are exper experiencing hypotonic cell expansion condition, when they inhibit rock and blood ectomatic contractility, they are gone. So here, so overall, they want to say that in high stiffness or when cell volume enhanced, this rock and ectomatic contractility is highly activated in certain conditions. And then this is the same manner, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. They all confirm this previously found phenomenon by this hypotonic and O inhibitor. And then, yeah, as well, more change, their change relatively gone. Okay. And then finally, they making this figure. When this single cell arsenic yeah, for a multiple cell, their cell volume is enhanced. And then their cell volume enhance plus ectomatic contractility making the force in certain site. And then now they can remodel the beta membrane lamini. And then they are making this hole to invade other site. Okay, this is the last figure. <coughs> 